So today we're going to talk about the difference between page breaks and section breaks. So before we start discussing that, I'd like to show you that we have a document right here on the screen and it has uh, two pages. Right here we have the first page and there's a title right here, cover page, and there are a few paragraphs right here. And that's my first page. Here's my second page. So there are only two pages in this document, right? So uh, let's talk about the page break first. Uh, be before I do anything, let me just um, activate or enable this show hide button, show hide uh, paragraph marks button. So this allows you to see where the carriage returns or the enters were uh, uh, placed, okay, where you pressed enter. Uh, that also allows you to see where the spaces are, you know, those little dots right there, there those, are, uh, those are spaces. And this also allows you to see where the page breaks are and where the section breaks are, okay, in your document. So before I, ent um, I enter or insert my page break, I'll place my cursor right here after cover page C. And in order to um, insert a page break, I'll just go to insert and then choose page break there. So the effect of the page break is, oh, see, see here, you can see the page break where it was inserted in the document. So the effect of the page break is uh, wherever it's inserted, whatever text is under it, will go to the next page. Okay, so this portion of the of the document now moves over to page two and page three. Now we have a three-page document. Okay, so that would be good. I think this is good for this particular um, situation where you have a cover page and you don't want the paragraph to continue on over here. Just insert the page break. Okay. Let me just delete that. It's easy. Just place your cursor before the page break and press delete. Now it goes back there. See your your uh, text or paragraphs uh, go back here just under the cover page uh, title. Now let me insert the page break another way. And another way to insert your page break is by pressing Control Enter in your keyboard. There. Same thing. Okay. So that is a page break. It just allows you put, to put a page break and move the text after the page break to the next page. That's it. Now we're going to take a look at a section break. And this type of section break is the next page section break. I'll place my cursor here in the same location. So I've uh, undone the page break. I deleted the page break. And so now I'll insert a section break right here. Um, at this location and then I'll go to layout and then I'll go to breaks and choose next page section break there look it has the same effect as your page break because it moves all this text after the section break to the next page right they're almost the same let me just place my cursor here and press enter just to put the section break after the title cover page okay so there's the section break right there okay uh, but the difference is you actually divided your document into um, two sections okay earlier we only had one section okay so since we have a section break we've divided it into two sections this this uh, area over here right before the section break is what we call section one after the section break uh, these uh, text all the way to the third page is your section two. How do you know that? Uh, well, let me place my cursor here in the first page, um, just before the section break. Okay. And uh, to, um, how do I know that this is section one? I'll go and take a look here at the lower left corner of the page. Uh, let me just zoom in over here. Hey, there. See, it says section one. Right now, I know that that location is section one. If I place my cursor um, on page two after the section break, let me take a look at the bottom here. That is section two right there. Okay. So the status bar of Word allows you to identify 
in which section your cursor is located at the moment. Okay. All right. So, so what's the difference? So, how is a section break different from your page break? Okay. Uh, if you use a section break, you can have or you can um, make different sections of a different layout. For example, right now, let me zoom out. This first section, just before the section break, is, is my first section, or section one. Uh, I think this one is in portrait, yes? Now, after the section break, here in section two, I'll place my cursor there. I want to change the layout of this section to, uh, let's say, landscape, okay? So, I'll place my cursor here and then change my orientation. I'm still in the layout tab change the orientation to landscape, the page orientation. So you see here, the orientation of this page is now in landscape. While, if I scroll up, just before the section break here, this page is in portrait. See? So that's one of the things that you can do if you have divided your document into sections, right? So another uh, thing that you can do with, uh, you know, if you have sections in your document is, for example, here I am in section two. I want to put a, uh, a, a page number here at the footer that I don't want to appear in my section one. Okay. Uh, I will double click the footer. That's the shortcut for inserting a footer. And I'd like to put the page number right here at the left at the bottom. So how do I do that? Now, before I insert the page number, I'll have to unlink this section. You notice here it says footer section two. And it says here, same as previous at the right. That means whatever um, action I do here in the footer of section two will be applied in section one as well. I don't want that, right? So in order to unlink the footer of my section two from section one, I'll have to click this button right here, link to previous, okay? I'll click that. So now what happens is that my section two is no longer, my the footer of my section two is no longer connected with that of section one. So I can insert my page number right here. So here's the page number button. And then I'd like to uh, put the page number at the bottom of the page and I'd like it to be at the left right here. Uh, where do I put that here? Plane number one at the left. There you go, that's page number two, okay? And then if I scroll down, this is page number number three, yes? So um, there's, if I scroll up to section one, which is my first page, notice, is there a page number down here? No, because I unlinked the section or the footer of section two from section one, okay? In the same way, if I may just show you, I'm gonna go to the header of section two and I'd like to type in here, let's say, um, body of the document, okay? Or body, uh, um, chapter one, let's say, okay? Um, notice that my header in section two is still connected to that of section one so again i will have to click this link to previous button to unlink my header from that of section one so i'll click this button here and so now my header in section two is no longer connected to that of section one i can type anything here let's say i'm gonna say chapter one and this is going to be applied to the other pages that belong to section two. Yes, there it is. Let me just put some bold in there. I'll just press control B there. And notice if I scroll up to section one, that the header is empty because section one's header is different to that of section two. Okay, so that is the advantage of using section breaks. So it allows you to have a different layout in different sections.